Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Photo Focus. And in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna define a ground plane on an existing image so we can add a 3D element into it. Let's jump in and see what I mean. So here I am in Photoshop, I've got my image all ready to go. You can see it comes from Adobe Stock. And what I'd like to do is add a 3D element to this. In fact, I'd like to put the word home on the shelf. So let's go and get the text and type in home. There we go. And let's click the tick and make sure that we can then move that around. And sure enough, that's the kind of thing I'm after, but I'm looking for it in three dimensions. So let's go and put this into 3D. I'm gonna go into the 3D workspace. And then I'm gonna say, okay, in the 3D workspace, from the selected layer, 3D extrusion, create. Off it goes and makes that into a 3D extrusion. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit so it's not quite so wide or deep. Now you can see here that the ground plane isn't where the shelf is. So I've got no hope of actually placing that onto the shelf as it stands right now. I could, if I wish, come onto the scene and use the controls here to try and make it match up, but it's gonna be very difficult. I'd much rather spend a little bit of time and know that it's absolutely bang on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to layers and I'm gonna turn off that home layer just for now. Now, like I say, I like to do a lot of prep here and you may think this is a bit unnecessary, but it's the way I like to work. I'm gonna zoom in into the shelf and this could be anything that matches the ground plane. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down from the rulers a couple of guides. There's one and there's two. So I know now that they are two horizontal guides for me. Next, what I want to do is draw a couple of lines. Let's zoom back out. I've got a single pixel line here in red. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on a new layer and then just create those two lines. So there's one and they're snapping to the guides and there's two. Good. All right, I've just created an extra layer there. So let's get rid of that and let's clear the guides. All right, now I've got two red lines there that mark out exactly where the horizontal is for this ground plane. Next, I want to tell Photoshop where the ground plane actually is. And to do that, I just go up to Filter and Vanishing Point. If you use Vanishing Point before, then this will all make sense to you. You can make several planes, whether it be a wall, a floor, whatever it may be, but all I want is one plane, which is the ground plane. So I'm gonna bring up my planes here and then just very quickly dab on each corner so that I can make this ground plane. There we go. Now, because it's red, I know that it's not right, but I'm okay with that because I've made those horizontal lines. I know that I can come in and tweak that. Get the tool here and just come up and make sure that they all where the two meet. There we go, that's it. Let's go across to the other side. Oh, I was way off there. So I'd say it's not a good idea to try and guess this because you're gonna be way off. There we go. All right, let's zoom back out again. Now I've got my plane, it's in blue, which means it makes sense in 3D space. I'm gonna click OK. And nothing seems to change at all, but that's OK. Let's get rid of that guide. And let's bring up my home. Now, if I then go over to my 3D panel and choose current view, from the current view, it may say view default view. In my case, because I've been messing around a bit, it says custom view two. If I click on that, I can then choose vanishing point grid. And sure enough, it puts everything into that vanishing point grid. So I'm gonna go and get my move tool here and click on home and I can actually reduce that in size. Whoop, reduce that in size by using the block in the middle. And then I can, what I can do then is I can come up to the coordinates here at the top in properties and say move to ground. And there we go. Let's move that back a little bit and maybe along a bit. And I can also turn it on that ground plane too. There we go. Check the work by clicking on layers and then on the background layer. We can see now that it's sitting nicely on that ground plane. Now, actually making it sit on the ground plane was very easy. It's that preparation that takes a little bit of time. I do recommend you take a little bit of prep time just to make sure you get it absolutely right. Now, a little aside from that, on the home there, 
because it is still a live layer, it's a smart object for all intents and purposes. I can edit the source here and I can type in something else. Let's try subscribe, click the tick and save that. And then back in my original image, you can see that the word subscribe is now the one that is available to me. I'll reduce that in size and I'll move that to the ground plane too. There we go. And let's move that along a little bit so it's not sitting on the lamp. Okay, let's move the light around just so it matches that too. And you can see then that it comes onto the shelf as well. Cool. Excellent. There we go. I'm Eric Reno. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if this has been a help. And don't forget to tell your friends. I'll see you again next time at Photo Focus. Bye-bye for now.